Hi guys, Alex here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install your Google conversion tracking pixel on your ClickFunnels account so that you can track the leads that you're getting from the ads you're running on YouTube. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is select the tool icon at the top where it says tools and settings. And under measurements, we're gonna select conversions. All right, as you can see, I've previously already built out a conversion. Uh, what you want to do is just click this plus icon to create a new conversion, and we're going to use this for our website. And the first thing we need to do is select a category, and I've done this in the past, so go ahead and select Submit Lead Form for tracking leads. Uh, conversion name, I'll name this after the previous one. And we're not going to give this a value since we're tracking leads and not purchases. All right, our count is going to be set to one because we don't want to track like multiple leads for a single person. And the conversion settings at the bottom, we can leave those exactly as they are. Go ahead and select create and continue. All right, and we're going to install the tag ourselves. Here are the instructions stating exactly what we're about to do, which is install this global site tag on every page of our funnel. Since we're using ClickFunnels, it's super easy. Since the global site tag isn't already installed, we're going to go ahead and leave this box circled. And right here, where you see this HTML code, you can either download the snippet or you can just go ahead and click on this box and it'll already copy everything for you. And we're gonna go back over to our ClickFunnels account and we're gonna click settings on our funnel. Now where it says head tracking code, we can go ahead and paste this code in right here. I'll go ahead and uh, stretch this out so you can see it. And next we go ahead and save this. All right, now that we've done that, we can go back over to our Google Ads account and we can copy this event snippet uh, the exact same way that we did before, or you can download it your choice. We can go back over to our ClickFunnels account and this time we wanna go to our thank you page. All right, you can go ahead and select edit page. At the top, go ahead and click settings and select tracking code. All right, now we can go ahead and paste that code in there, save, and we are done. We can now go back to our Google Ads account and select next and done. Now that we've created our lead conversion pixel, real quickly, I'll show you how to add it to an existing ad campaign. All right, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the overview of your Google Ads account and on the left, select settings. Now you're gonna choose which ad campaign you, you wanna go into the settings app. For me, I'll just choose this one. All right, next you wanna scroll down to where it says additional settings. Uh, select conversions. And you wanna make sure you have this option selected. Choose conversion actions for this campaign. Now, I already have this selected, so I'll go ahead and select OM lead. And you'll see the conversion pixel that we just created is right there. All you would have to do is select it and save. All right, guys, if there was any confusion as to why we place our conversion pixel on the thank you page, I've created a detailed video explaining exactly how a sales funnel works and why we place these conversion pixels in these specific areas. Like always, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe to the channel for future videos, and I will see you in the next video.